Matthew 9. Matthew 9. And getting into a boat. And getting into a boat. He crossed over and came to his own city. He crossed over and came to his own city. And behold, some people brought to him a paralytic. And behold, some people brought to him a paralytic. Lying on a bed, lying on a bed. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, and when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Take heart, my son. Your sins are forgiven. Take heart, my son. Your sins are forgiven. And behold, some of the scribes said to themselves, and behold, some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. This man is blaspheming. But Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, But Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Why do you think evil in your hearts? Why do you think evil in your hearts? For which is easier to say? For which is easier to say? Your sins are forgiven, or to say, rise and walk. Your sins are forgiven, or to say, rise and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He then said to the paralytic. He then said to the paralytic. Rise, pick up your bed and go home. Rise, pick up your bed and go home. And he rose and went home. And he rose and went home. When the crowd saw it, they were afraid. When the crowd saw it, they were afraid. And they glorified God who had given such authority to men. And they glorified God who had given such authority to men. As Jesus passed on from there, he saw a man called Matthew sitting at the tax booth. As Jesus passed on from there, he saw a man called Matthew sitting at the tax booth. And he said to him, Follow me. And he said to him, Follow me. And he rose and followed him. And he rose and followed him. And as Jesus reclined at table in the house, and as Jesus reclined at table in the house, Behold, many tax collectors and sinners came and were reclining with Jesus and his disciples. Behold, many tax collectors and sinners came and were reclining with Jesus and his disciples. And when the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, And when the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? But when he heard it, he said, But when he heard it, he said, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. Go and learn what this means. Go and learn what this means. I desire mercy and not sacrifice. I desire mercy and not sacrifice. 
For I came not to call the righteous. For I came not to call the righteous. لكن على خطاء. But sinners. But sinners. Then the disciples of John came to him saying. Then the disciples of John came to him saying. Why do we and the Pharisees fast? Why do we and the Pharisees fast? But your disciples do not fast. But your disciples do not fast. And Jesus said to them. And Jesus said to them. Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them. The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them. And then they will fast. And then they will fast. No one puts a piece of unshrunk cloth on an old garment. No one puts a piece of unshrunk cloth on an old garment. For the patch tears away from the garment. For the patch tears away from the garment. And a worse tear is made. And a worse tear is made. Neither is new wine put into old wineskins. Neither is new wine put into old wineskins. If it is, the skins burst. If it is, the skins burst. And the wine is spilled and the skins are destroyed. And the wine is spilled and the skins are destroyed. But new wine is put into fresh wineskins. But new wine is put into fresh wineskins. And so both are preserved. And so both are preserved. While he was saying these things to them, behold, a ruler came in. While he was saying these things to them, behold, a ruler came in. Then knelt before him, saying, then knelt before him, saying, My daughter has just died. My daughter has just died. But come and lay your hand on her, and she will live. But come and lay your hand on her, and she will live. And Jesus rose and followed him with his disciples. And Jesus rose and followed him with his disciples. And behold, a woman who had suffered from a discharge of blood for twelve years came up behind him and touched the fringe of his garment. And behold, a woman who had suffered from a discharge of blood for twelve years came up behind him and touched the fringe of his garment. For she said to herself, for she said to herself, If I only touch his garment, I will be made well. I don't touch God. I will be made well. Jesus turned, and seeing her, he said, Jesus turned, and seeing her, he said, Take heart, daughter. Your faith has made you well. Take heart, daughter. Your faith has made you well. And instantly, the woman was made well. And instantly, the woman was made well. And when Jesus came to the ruler's house and saw the flute players and the crowd making a commotion, and when Jesus came to the ruler's house and saw the flute players and the crowd making a commotion, he said, Go away! He said, Go away! For the girl is not dead, but sleepy. For the girl is not dead, but sleepy. 
and they laughed at him and they laughed at him but when the crowd had been put outside but when the crowd had been put outside he went in and took her by the hand he went in and took her by the hand and the girl arose and the girl arose and the report of this went through all that district and the report of this went through all that district and as Jesus passed on from there and as Jesus passed on from there two blind men followed him crying aloud two blind men followed him crying aloud have mercy on us son of David have mercy on us son of David when he entered the house, the blind men came to him. When he entered the house, the blind men came to him. And Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? And Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? They said to him, Yes, Lord. They said to him, Yes, Lord. Then he touched their eyes, saying, Then he touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it done to you. According to your faith, be it done to you. And their eyes were opened and their eyes were opened and Jesus sternly warned them and Jesus sternly warned them see that no one knows about it see that no one knows about it but they went away and spread his fame through all that district but they went away and spread his fame through all that district. As they were going away, as they were going away, behold, a demon-oppressed man who was mute was brought to him. Behold, a demon-oppressed man who was mute was brought to him. And when the demon had been cast out, the mute man spoke. And when the demon had been cast out, the mute man spoke. And the crowds marveled, saying, and the crowds marveled, saying, Never was anything like this seen in Israel. Never was anything like this seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, but the Pharisees said, He casts out demons by the prince of demons. He casts out demons by the prince of demons. And Jesus went throughout all the cities and villages teaching in their synagogues and Jesus went throughout all the cities and villages teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and healing every disease and every affliction and healing every disease and every affliction when he saw the crowds he had compassion for them when he saw the crowds he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd then he said to his disciples then he said to his disciples the harvest is plentiful the harvest is plentiful but the laborers are few but the laborers are few 
Therefore, pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest. Therefore, pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest. To send out laborers into his harvest. To send out laborers into his harvest.